The modulo operator is a binary operator. That means it takes two operands to work on. Here are some examples. Let me execute the code. Why are all results zero? Because in each expression, the first operand can be divided by the second without a remainder. So when I write this, the remainder is 1. When I turn 5 into 6, the number 2 will fit exactly 3 times and the remainder is 0. Now the interesting thing is that I cannot remember using this even once in math class, but I use it all the time in my code. Here are some practical examples. Here is a list of numbers. When I print them, I want to alternate the colors. You know this behavior from working with tables. First let me show you how to do this without the modulo operator. I loop through the colors and when i equals 1, I set this color. And I set i to 1. When i equals 1, the other color is set and i is set back to 0. And that works. But you will always need to flip this state variable to know if the row is odd or even. Let me rewrite this with the modulo operator. I get rid of the state variable and keep track of the list index. And now I use i modulo 2 and check the remainder. And that works. Now you can do this trick to do all kinds of stuff. What about a divider line every two elements? You want to move the divider position one line down, increase the remainder. As you see, this is a great function to do stuff like this. Let me show you one more that I really like. Here are three teams. I want to distribute the following names over the teams. With the modulo function, this is done with two lines of code. I print the teams. Is that all? Yep. I use the modulo operator all the time when creating games. And if you want to learn more about games in Python, click on this video right now. There you will learn how to recreate a classic from the Commodore 64.